Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a try on style haul. Got some goodies here. I'm filming this on my phone because there's something wrong with my camera. Let's jump into these goodies. I, I bought some stuff on Cyber Monday and then I was in Ulta yesterday and picked some things up and then my in-laws also sent me a little it cosmetics brush kits for my birthday so i'm really excited to try that out um so here yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump into it this feels really really soft this is one of the it cosmetics brushes i feel like this would be good for like like a bronzy contour so we'll try that later then there's a like little eyeball brush and then there's another kind of eyeball brush this one's a little bit stiffer and then there is this guy, just kind of like a little, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like a little flat, kind of stiffer brush. This might be good for like no, nose contour maybe, or like lower lash line maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll try it out. Um, and then there's just a good old, well, this has two things, a good old like nice angle brush. So maybe we'll try some liner. Anyways, and it comes in a super cute little magnetic pouch. I really like that. So I'm excited to try these out. Um, these, again, were a birthday gift. The first thing that I'm going to put on my face, though, I also, also, I also, I picked up yesterday, um, bow down. Bow down to the queen of garbage. Anyone else like Princess Bride? I don't. There's a thumbnail for you. Okay, there goes my receipt. We're just throwing that on the floor. It's all good. Anyways, so I got some brow products yesterday because I was in Ulta. First thing I got was this Catrice eyebrow filler. Um, and this is kind of like a fibrous one it's supposed to really make your brows a lot fuller than they are naturally um and i kind of cheated and i've been using this for the past couple of days and it's freaking amazeballs i love it um i'm just gonna yeah i'm gonna put it on my eyebrows so see how it just kind of like instantly it's like more eyebrow because that's that's the half with it and that's not keep in mind i have like a gap right there and like nothing in the world is going to make that look fuller because there's no hair there but look what it did to like the front of my brow and now we're going to do the other side i don't have a mirror over here so but that uh, got all over my face i'm just doing this in the camera lens but like look at how much fuller that looks i've been using this on mornings when i'm just like running out the door so i'll throw a little bit of this in and then i'll use like a pencil to just fill in that little gap and it's all good. And speaking of pencils, the next thing I picked up was this eyebrow stylist, also from Catrice. There's a lot of, these are all Catrice brow products. And it's just like a normal kind of pencil, but I thought the undertone in this looked really nice and like neutral and good. So we're going to try it on the eyebrows. And it's got a little spoolie on the other end. This is a fat spoolie. All right, so I'm going to take that brow pencil. I'm going to start where that gap is and start filling it in. It's not bad. This I have not tried. I've just tried the, the brow gel and the next thing I'm going to talk about. This is nice. This is a good like amount of pigmentation. It's not too pigmented but it's also pigmented enough i feel like i have good control it's not as thin it's not as skinny as what i'm used to using but i still feel like i have good control i don't feel like it's slip sliding everywhere it's like staying where i put it and it's but it's still like blending in nicely with my brow hairs so I'm going to clean this up in a minute. Don't you worry. It'll happen. Um, but next I'm going to take the Catrice Long Lasting Brow Definer. And this is like a, um, like a brush tip eyeliner pretty much. 
I have tried this out as well and I really like it. It's not as it's not like an eyeliner. It's not pigmented like an eyeliner, but it's perfect for getting those little hair strokes just in the front and making it look super natural. This combined with this just on like natural brow days is amazing. I've been loving it. Um, you know, and disclaimer, I I've only been trying these out the past couple of days. So it's not like, not even past couple days. I've been trying this out today. I tried this out today at work and it was good, but I do need to try it out more to give, you know, like a whole comprehensive review type thing. Anyways, basically I just, I've tried this out today. I really liked it. I'm trying it out again. I still really like this. Um, and we'll see about this guy. Um, so the way I liked to use this was just in the front starting about right here i'm just using little upward flicks just to mimic um some natural hair growth where i have none and it just see it just looks a lot more natural than going in with a pencil i'm gonna do the same thing on this side digging it digging it digging it digging out all all dig it Dig it out, oh, oh, dig it. You guys remember that movie? It's a classic. Got a little carried away right there, but that's okay. We're gonna clean that up. Thinking I might be able to use this guy from the It Cosmetics brush set. I'm gonna spray it with a bit of e.l.f. brush cleaner just to kind of sanitize it. These brushes have kind of a like tapered thing to them. It feels really nice in the hand, feels really nice to hold. They're a little bit shorter than normal brushes, which I kind of like. Um, so let's see how this works with damn eyebrows. And I'm just going to outline damn eyebrows. Not completely, because we still want kind of a natural-ish vibe. But I'm just kind of outlining the edges just to clean those suckers up. Then I'm taking that It Cosmetics brush. I don't know if it's gonna work for what I'm using it for, but we'll see. Um, and I'm just going to sweep downward like I normally would. It's, like it's making a really bizarre noise, but it blended the, the um, concealer stick out really nicely. It just blended right in. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be for. What's it called? It's called a smudger. For it's for smudge and stuff so you know what you can smudge you can smudge whatever you want with it it's just smudge to your to your heart's content so yeah i actually quite liked that brush to blend out the concealer it wasn't as precise as like the tiny brush i usually use but it just blended it super easy i feel like this would be great um just running out the door morning i'm gonna take that eyebrow filler again and just comb through it one thing I will say about this filler is it doesn't have the greatest hold as far as like keeping your brows in place. It's not bad. Like it's, it's not, I've definitely tried horse, but it's not, I guess I'm just comparing everything to my elf brow gel, which is like super crazy, amazing hold. So in retrospect, I think this does have good hold. It's just not like crazy amazing, but like this combined with that would be like, <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm liking those brows, so I really liked all those brow products. I will definitely continue to use them. So, this is what I'm really excited for. This is like what I made my whole Cyber Monday thing for. Um, this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And it's supposed to be like very emollient. It says pretty packaging. It's a little glass jar. jar. It's expensive. It's Becca. Um, it's really pretty. It's a peach color corrector, and it's supposed to be for under the eyes. I have really, really bad dark circles, as you can see, and, like, nothing covers them. Um, but I use this, actually, on my wedding day. One of my bridesmaids has it. Ha one, one of my bridesmaids... Bri I cannot say words. One of my bridesmaids had this, and um, she let me use it, and I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. And so I've been wanting to get it, and I finally got it, and I like it. Um, I have like my NYX color corrector, but it's just, I don't know. It's not, I don't like the finish of it. I can only use a tiny bit because of the finish. This one has a beautiful finish, at least from what I remember. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking and put this on my face. I'm just going to dip in with that same 
brush and like ooh, look at that look at that it's so just like creamy and like emollient I'm just gonna pat that on my dark circles go in with my finger and pat that out oh oh yeah look how just look how brightening that is that looks so nice like that looks so much better even with like no foundation no other concealer it just looks here i'm gonna get a little bit closer but it, it just looks nice under the eyes it looks really healthy and it just it doesn't look like i'm wearing a color corrector you know it just looks really bright and nice under there i love that it does stay tacky too so like if you were to wear this on your own which i think you could probably on like no makeup makeup days because it doesn't look like super peach under the eyes it just looks really brightened and that peach just kind of helps counteract it anyways what was i saying before i went off on a tangent i don't remember oh yeah it's really tacky so if you were to wear this on this, oh, <laughs> if you were to wear it on its own you would probably want to set it but most people will probably use this with a concealer anyway so that's gonna go on top and then you'll probably put powder on top of that and it'll be fine but it, it does stay kind of tacky it is drying down a bit but overall yeah I really like it I'm really happy with that purchase um, I don't have a new like primer I don't have a new foundation or anything like that to try so I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I will be right back I was feeling super lazy, so I didn't put on a real foundation. I just kind of smeared some of this uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. That is a mouthful of a name. Um, I just kind of smeared that all over my face with my fingers, and that is all I'm going to do, honestly, for my base. That's, I just, it's fine. I don't need anything else. <laughs> Beautiful. Honestly, with that under eye brighter though, it's like changing my life. I, I can't even. Okay, next. I'm going to put on concealer. I'm going to be using the... Catrice, I'm using so many Catrice products in this video, that was not intentional. But uh, here we are. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. It's meant to be waterproof. I do like the coverage on this, except I don't really love the finish of it, and I find it kind of difficult to blend. Um, so we're going to try it over top of this beautiful, illuminating color corrector. So I'm going to be going in with my Eco Tools sponge, and because, again, I'm feeling really lazy, I'm not going to go wet it, but I did pick up more of the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This is a repurchase. I have bought this many, 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 many times. It's one of my favorite setting sprays. I love it. it makes your skin look so healthy and nice, and it's just good. I just like it. It's just amazing. Yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to, like, spray my sponge with this. So I'm going to take some of that Catrice concealer and I'm just going to pop that under the eyes. Wow, I like the finish of that a lot better. That's really nice. I think I feel like I need foundation now because my under eyes are like ba bam and then the rest of my face is like meh. So, oh well, it's okay. We'll just put some bronzer on it. It'll be fine. Becca corrector really helped the finish of that concealer it looks a lot like more I don't want to say dewy but it looks more hydrated and looks really nice got a nice healthy glow going on as far as coverage goes like I think it did improve a little like it did it did definitely help but obviously you can still see my dark circles showing through but I just I, I am like Gollum and Oh, they're always there and I don't think I'm ever getting rid of them so it's whatever however I do think that helped a little bit kind of not as much as I was hoping it would but I'm gonna play around like with some different concealers and see kind of what combo works best but I really really like the finish and it did help brighten everything for sure it looks a lot better under there alrighty so I think that looks good. I'm just going to get a uh, some setting powder and I'll be right back. Okay, so that still looks really nice with powder. Obviously, it's settling into my fine lines. Every concealer does. It's still looking a bit too yellow for me, but that's just the shade of the concealer. But it looks nice and smooth. Um, so I'm happy about it. I'm going to powder the rest of my face. Now that that's done, 
so far, uh, good things are happening. I am going to move on to the eyes now, which I'm super excited about. So let's do that. Okay, so I got a couple things for the eyes and I zoomed you guys in. That's a lie. I just moved closer to the camera. If I can get this open, this is the, this is one of the NYX Jumbo pencils and this is, okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, I think I got it. Oh my gosh, why do they like saran wrap these? Like why? Why? Anyways, it's the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Bean. I really wanted just like a big like black eyeliner pencil so that I could use it for like super smoky looks and stuff like that. So that's what I'm hoping to do with this guy. I'm gonna, I wanna do like a, like a smoky halo eye kind of deal. So I'm going to take this guy. And I'm just going to like smear it. Oh, that's super black. I love it. Yeah, that's a good look. Yeah, love that's super, super black and nice. And it went on really smoothly. I'm gonna try out one of the other, another brush. These brushes look really nice. I feel like I'm gonna destroy them. Like I feel like they're too nice for me but it's really, really soft and nice. This one feels pretty stiff, so I feel like it's gonna be good to blend, just blend everything. So uh, let's, let's go in. Um, that, I mean, that's blending out really nicely. That's blending out like a freaking eyeshadow. And I do want the center to be lighter, but it's okay if we get some on there. Let's do some on the lower lash line too. I'm gonna take that jumbo pencil again and I'm just going along that lower lash line. And we just, we just gonna smoke that out. Using that same brush. We just smoking this out. This, like, this is blending out like a dream. I don't know if it's this brush or this thing, but I'm liking both. I mean, it definitely looks gray now that I blended it out, but I like really blended it out. If you wanted to like, stick it down and make it look like really super black you could i'm gonna dip into the bh cosmetics zodiac palette and then i'm i'm gonna take that fluffier brush this feels so soft and nice like i feel like this is gonna be so nice we're just getting in there and it's like the perfect it's like the perfect size it's not too big not too small really nice let's uh see how it performs on the eyes so i'm dipping into that black shade swatching this look looks like a really nice black but I haven't actually tried it, so I guess this is, wow. Yep, yep, that's, that's black. I may have kind of overdone it. Yeah, all right, well, now that we look like a raccoon, let's continue. I'm gonna grab another brush. I do really like this brush, but it's just a wee bit too big. Oh, I'm gonna take this guy. This is a, what is it? Oh my gosh, yeah, Miss Glam brush and I'm just gonna go in kind of circular not circular I'm gonna go in all, all types of directions and just try to blend this out you know what this is what the smudge is for I get it I get it um so I did clean this off earlier it's still kind of stained I probably ruined it forever but I'm gonna go and hit that under eye Probably should have used this to blend it out in the first phase. I feel like that brush is probably a wee bit too big. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna go in and clean off this brush on my handmade color switchy thing. I'm gonna go into this ColourPop single shadow. This is in Bites. It's just a white shade. This again is a little bit of stiffer brush. I'm gonna really dig my brush in there and I'm gonna go along the edges of this look. Let's try to tone it down a little bit. Anyways, I'm gonna go back into that black shade and I'm going to just kind of intensify the inner corner. I'm really just packing it on. I'm not really blending too much. because It's honestly kind of blending itself in. This is the NYX glitter primer. I have never had a glitter primer and I don't really use glitter, but I wanted to get it for like shimmery shadows. 
um, because the ones in this palette, I like them a lot. They look really pretty, but they don't have great longevity. Of course, I'm not going to be testing longevity today, but that's mostly what I got this primer for. Um, and we're still going to try it and see if it, you know, affects application and whatnot. Our super pretty kind of holographic packaging. I know you're probably supposed to apply this with a brush, but I don't want to get a new one. So I'm just going to apply it with my finger. But I'm going to pop this on the center of my lid. Oh my god, it's so sticky. It's probably a good thing. This literally just looked like I just put glue on my eyes. So uh, hopefully it works. <laughs> I mean, that is the idea, right? People use eyelash glue sometimes for glitter, so I guess that makes sense. Anyways, going into this really pretty blue shade now. Right over where we placed that glitter primer. Oh my god. That is absolutely stunning. I mean, these shadows look fantastic on their own. I don't know if that glitter primer really helped as far as application goes. I'm going to do a review video on this palette. Um, so I'm going to talk about longevity and whatnot. So I'll probably update you in that video if the glitter primer helped with longevity at all. It's helping it stick down, I feel like, though. Like... I mean, that's the idea. Um, but I do feel like it's not moving anywhere. Normally these shadows you can kind of manipulate a little bit, but it's really sticking down, which is a good thing. But it's such a pretty color. I'm going to go in actually with the second layer because I feel like I blended it out. I just, I want this to be a halo eye, but I want it to kind of be... A really faded you know smoky halo eye I don't want it to be super super pinpointed or anything like that and I'm just gonna very lightly blend out the edges I do feel like it did kind of pop more where I placed that glitter primer which is what we wanted I'm gonna go in with this middle kind of highlight shade and I'm just again taking that on my finger and I'm just taking the right in the very center of my lid. Okay. Yep, there we go. Taking some black bean and I'm popping that on the waterline. I'm gonna take that little smudge brush and just kind of smudge along the lash line so it blends in. So I'm taking this guy here I'm going to go back into that black shade. I'm going to take this angled brush and I'm just going to very carefully smudge this along the top lash line. I'm mostly doing this to make it easier to conceal the lash band that we're going to put on. But also it just adds some dimension to the eye. Not that we really need any, but that does look nice. I do, I do like that. So, and I do like this angle brush. I thought it was going to be a bit too like long almost, but I do, I like it. All right. So that's pretty much the eye look. Um, I am going to pop on some mascara and lashes. Before I do that, I think what I'm going to do is just highlight that inner corner. I'm just going to take this middle highlight here again and just on a finger, I'm just going to pop that in the inner corner. I'm going to go do the other eyeball off camera. Oh my god, with the red hair. I'm like Ursula when she took over Ariel's body. Oh my god. Conspiracy. Anyways, I'm going to go apply the other eye off camera. And I'm also going to put on some mascara and lashes. And I will be back. So, I went ahead and applied some lashes. And I did the other eye, which was a freaking... Just, ah. This eye like did not turn out nearly as good as this eye. It's like not nearly as blended, but it's so late right now that I just I have to go to bed. Moving on, so we have one more, <sighs> one more brush to try out from It Cosmetics, and that is this guy right here. I'm really excited about it. You could use it for blush probably, but I'm gonna use it to just like do a bronzy bronzy contour gonna give it a little spritz first 
All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula but a bronzer in there and I'm just gonna go in the hollows of my cheeks where I would normally like contour bronze whatever I feel like this brush is a little bit too big to do like a really precise you know like cool tone contour I normally like a bit smaller of a brush probably could do it but but it's really nice I I really like that it's got it's like the perfect shape to really get in there and it just kind of blends out while you're doing it I'm digging it I use this for blush too maybe I will I'm just gonna this is like my um, handmade color switch I bought the original one and I do really like it but uh, I'm broke so I just put a hair donut in there and it honestly works just fine I'm just gonna go in with the Milani baked blush in luminoso which is really nice luminescent and beachy and I think that it will just kind of brighten up the look a little bit so I'm taking some on this brush I normally don't use a brush this small for blush but we'll see how it goes I actually really like this for blush I feel like I have a lot more control than I normally do because I normally use like a big ass blur brush and just put it freaking everywhere but this is really nice because I always think if I use a small brush then I won't like it'll look patchy but at least with this blush it looks really nice these brushes are so like this brush is so soft it feels so nice on my face then I'm going in with the wet n wild mega glow highlighter in the shade precious petals this highlight looks like fantastic on camera but in real life it's just kind of like meh. I'm gonna spray my face with the NYX dewy setting spray and See, I really like this. See how it just like sinks all the powders into your skin and just makes you look so nice and pretty. And I forgot what I was doing. I'm gonna apply this while my skin is still wet. Just again to the cheekbones. And yeah, there we go. So like this half of my face looks so much better than this half, just like all around, just like, Ooh, blended, glowy, contour, and this shot, this is like hot mess. Yes. All right, last up is lipstick. We are gonna take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Sao Paulo. All right, so I know I should have gone with a nude lip to match the eyes, but I'm just, I'm feeling this, you know? I kind of feel, kind of feel like a mermaid, like a modern mermaid, you know? I feel like I need a beanie. I always feel like I need a beanie. I feel like this would look so cool if I had put any effort into the rest of my appearance, but uh, alas, here we are. But just, I mean, beanies fix everything. What am I forgetting? Eyebrow. I'm going to go back in with that Catrice brow gel. I'm just going to fluff them up again. I always do this, no matter what brow gel I'm using. I always fluff them up at the end because a lot of times when you're blending around stuff, especially like around your eyes, sometimes those, sometimes you draw on your face. Sometimes those brow hairs can kind of deflate. So I always do this step last. Obviously I already put brow gel in earlier, but it was more for filling purposes. So I'm already starting to see some fading where the pencil is. I have a feeling that it's not going to be super long lasting, but the other two brow products I really liked. All right. So that was the entire haul. Um, let's do a little recap. <laughs> Those are not words, Carolyn. Those are not words. Let's do a little recap those are the words that I'm looking for. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go through this quickly because it is 1.30 in the morning and I need to go to bed. I have work tomorrow and I cannot wear this to work. Anyways, brow products, um, these three from Catrice. I really love this. I will be using this probably every single day now. I love it so much. Again, I'll update you in the description, especially with this one, because again, I'll probably be wearing it every single day. So I'll have time to try it out and whatnot. And I can update you on if my thoughts change or whatever, or how long it lasts. And um, 
all that good stuff. And then next up, this guy here, I like how it applied. I liked the pigmentation level. It wasn't too pigmented, but it was still, whoa, but it was still pigmented enough to where I could, you know, draw on my eyebrows because I have no eyebrows. Um, again though, like I feel like the longevity isn't going to be great because I'm already noticing some fading on the edge here. So I'll wear this throughout the day and then again I'll update you in the description below and see how it wears. Um, this I really liked. I have worn this throughout the day, again, only one time, um, but I really like this. Um, again, like the pigmentation is not as intense, so this is definitely like, I don't, I wouldn't use this by itself, um, but in conjunction with this, the brow filler, it works really well and you can get really, you know, natural, like fluffy looking brows like I did earlier today. Um, these are still pretty natural, but these were like really natural, you know, like they might be real eyebrows if I wasn't an alien and had no eyebrows. These uh, brushes from It Cosmetics, I love the little pouchy thing. I'm, I'm digging this. I'm always looking for new ways to, um, like store my brushes. I feel like this is going to be great for travel. I can use this for my bronzer and my blush. And then I have obviously a couple eyeshadow brushes and a sponger brush and an angle brush. So this will be great for traveling. It's really compact and nice. I really liked these. They're super soft, easy to work with. Um, I liked the variety between them. I was able to use every single brush. I really liked them all. And yeah, obviously I'll have to use them more, see how they hold up washing and everything like that. But so far, so good. And I love the pouch. So next up is, let's see. Um, yes, the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. I loved this. It's super black, super easy to blend. It's really creamy, really comfortable, all that jazz. It's actually staying in my waterline. Well, it is fading a little bit here, and that is with the powder, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. It is really nice. Um, I have the one in Milk, which is the white one, and I have one, or no, I have two other like shimmery ones for like the lid. Um, I really like this formula. I dig it. I have no complaints. Uh, so yeah, I, I recommend. And oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I am all over the place, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, next up is like the freaking star of the show. The entire reason why I started buying things, why I went on my Cyber Monday haul. This is the Becca Illuminating Under Eye Corrector. I love this. I've tried it before and I loved it. Um, I do think it made a difference, even though my, you can still see my dark circles, like, I know, they're just, they're always going to be there, but I think it did really help as far as coverage, it helped as far as the way it looks, um, I think it looks fairly smooth down there, it's still settling into fine lines, but again, that happens with every single concealer, every single product, it doesn't matter what it is, it's going to do that, I have lines down there, and you just need to get over it. But overall, I'm really digging this product. I definitely will keep using it. Um, I wanna try it out with some different concealers and see what it's like. I wanna try this with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream, because that one also has a very like emollient kind of looking feel to it. It's very wet looking almost until you set it with a powder. So I wanna see what this looks like with that and see if it's like too much or if it's like really nice with the powder. We'll see, I'll, I'll let you know, I will. Um, next up is the NYX Cosmetics Glitter Primer. I really liked this. It was a lot stickier than I thought it would be, and that's just because I've never used a glitter primer before. I mean, like, I don't know, who am I? So I really like this. I would like to try it with some actual glitter. Um, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna buy any right now because of the whole environmental controversy. Although there are, um, there is a company that makes, at least one company that I know of, there's probably multiple ones. There's one company that I know of that makes um, biodegradable glitter, which is really, really awesome and so much better for our oceans and everything. So I will link them down below. I have not personally tried their products, so I can't speak to how they perform, but it's just something I was, you know, kind of researching and looking and I really wanna try their stuff. So I will link them below if you wanna check them out. Um, and as far as primer goes, I really liked it. I think it did help the shadow stick down. Again, I can't say what it'll be like longevity wise and if it helps with that, especially with these shadows, which don't have the best longevity. Um, but again, I will update you in the, in the diddly down and yeah, um, so far so good on this. I think that's it. I think, I feel like I'm definitely forgetting something that I used, but that is all I can remember. So, 
we're just gonna go with uh we're just gonna go with that and if i missed anything i i am i'm very sorry okay guys that wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed my delusional crazy ass just rambling at one in the morning about makeup because this is what i do so now you get to see it instead of just my husband or my cat so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more hauls if you like the try on style if you just want to see me talk about shit next time if you want like a voiceover demo if you want me to dress up like a tyrannosaurus rex just you know let me know just let me know in the comments down below and you know i'll probably do it anyways i should stop talking i hope you guys have a great night or day or whatever you're doing and i will see you all again soon